Hi, and welcome to this week's 5 Minute Masterclass. This week I'd like to talk to you um, about transsexual exploitation. Now in 5 minutes we are in no way, shape or form going to be able to cover absolutely everything um, that is entailed in this topic. But in the next 5 minutes I want to introduce you to the subject and to give you some guidance in terms of the definition, the um, types of young people that will be affected mostly and also some pointers in terms of the sort of signs you may see if a child or young person is being um, sexually exploited. So like I say we can't cover everything but the first thing I wanted to cover with you is the definition and really for you to understand that at this moment in time there isn't a legal definition of child sexual exploitation. Um, child sexual exploitation is when those in a position of um, power or trust use that power or trust to sexually abuse um, a person, a young person or child under the age of 16 or 18 in some cases depending on the vulnerability of that person. Um, there is a definition floating about that does include uh, young people up to the age of 18. But for the most part, it's accepted that child sexual exploitation affects those uh, under the age of 16. The power that a person has over a young person can come from a number of places. It can be uh, in the form of... Um, their gender, their age, their role in that person's social group or society, um, their strength, physical or otherwise. Uh, it may come from money or it could be something else completely different um, that has allowed that person to have that position of power and trust over that young person. So that's our starting point. And so who are the sorts of young people who are going to be affected most by um, child sexual exploitation? I think it's fair to say that any young person could be affected by child sexual exploitation. But there are a number of groups of people who are more particularly um, likely to be affected by child sexual exploitation. And they're at greater risk. Um, and they're the people who fall into um, categories such as they're homeless um, they may be young people or children who have feelings of low self-esteem. There may be um, children or young people who've suffered a recent loss or a recent bereavement and are struggling to cope with that. Um, in the press you hear a lot about young people who are in care who have been at risk of child sexual exploitation or have been sexually exploited. And young carers also are at risk of being sexually exploited too. One of the things you need to remember, um, and that can be particularly hard when you're dealing with these sorts of cases, is that those that are being sexually exploited don't necessarily realise that this non-consexual sex or oral sex is actually rape. And it's important to remember that the age of consent in the UK, um, certainly England and Wales, is 16. It's 16 years of age. So regardless of whether... Um, it may appear that it's consensual and an 18-year-old says a 15-year-old agreed to have sex. It's still rape because that child does not have the ability to um, consent. So we've looked at the age, we've looked at the, um, the, the definition as loose as it is. And we've looked at those who are, are in that position um, who are being vulnerable to child sexual exploitation. And I briefly want to touch on the sorts of signs that you might see um, that could indicate child sexual exploitation is taking place. So these are things like um, child or young person goes missing for periods of time or is perpetually returning late. And there's perhaps no real explanation of where they've been, what they're doing, what's happening. Um, they may be missing school or skipping school um, or they may be becoming disruptive in class. They could suddenly start getting unexplained gifts or have new items lying around. One of the things to watch out for are mobile phones. Um, 
but these gifts appear and they're not able to provide an explanation for them. There may be health problems in certain young people, so they may start suffering from sexually transmitted infections. Mood swings, um, more so than your average hormonal teenager um, or young person, that that might be occurring. And you may see that young people and children are starting to use drugs or misuse alcohol. So that's a very quick look at um, the definition, those who are vulnerable to child sex products child sexual exploitation and the um, signs you may see that would indicate a young person is being um, sexually exploited. If you click the link in the box below um, then you can sign up for our newsletter and you will get details of our courses um, which will include the child, sex, child sexual exploitation courses um, so you can get more information there. Um, until next week thank you very much. Bye.